Okay, Bolo Buddies, I just left the Goodwill Bins outlet. I am going to head over to the Goodwill retail store and we are gonna see if we can find any treasures. They are right next door, so I always hit them both up. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. So when you walk in the door, it's typically like movies and then Christmas and then it goes on to hard goods. And the last place I stop is the toys. My favorite, oh, and books over here, books and movies. My favorite section is the toy section. If you've been following my channel, you guys all know that I love to sell toys. I am going to look through the breakables today. I am going to be honest with you. I don't pick anything up to buy. I don't like breakables. I don't like to ship them. I'm going to try to branch out and do more breakables in the future. So as I'm going through this section, please let me know in the comments if you see anything that I should have picked up because I will do Christmas stuff like when I say breakables, I mean like glass and plates and stuff like that. I have done it from time to time and I do well with it when I do. When I do do it, <laughs> I do well, but it's just not my favorite thing. So that's what's great about eBay. I always say this, sell what you love, what makes your job not feel like a job. I mean, I love what I do every single day. I love listing the stuff I list. I get excited to list my new items. And I think that's what it's all about. Now, if I had somebody that would ship breakables for me, I would buy them all day long. It's not that I don't like the breakables. I just don't like to package them up. There were some staples. I don't know. I thought about picking those up for my stapler, but I'm thinking, how often do I actually use staples? So I ended up putting those back. I'm not, a, I'm not against buying stuff for personal use at the thrift store. I definitely do that. So we're in the pots and pans. Um, I know that people make tons of money in this category, but I am not well-versed in it. Um, the homeschooling picker, pots and pans are like her thing. She just knows so much about it. So if you want to learn about pots and pans, definitely check out her channel. She also sells stuff in tons of other categories also. She is a major bolo finder, so not just pots and pans. All right, let's see what else we have here. And again, if you guys see anything that pops out or stands out to you as a bolo item or something that would sell quickly, please put it in the comments. That will help everybody learn. I am picking some things up. I'm looking at the bottoms. I'm seeing if things are signed. If I see something that's signed, I... From time to time, we'll look it up. These little pigs, oh my goodness. Uh, those glasses, uh, I think that was one of the 12 days of Christmas glasses. Or not 12 days, of, is it the, what is that? The first day, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what I was about to start singing, you don't want me to sing. But I have sold those in the past and I sold those individually. So they were easier to package and ship. Uh, putting 12 glasses in one, one box is terrifying. <laughs> that was a cute little vintage item, a little teacup and saucer. Some of those can do really well, uh, but you really got to know what you're looking for. Most of those are just going to be bread and butter items. Some electronics, another thing I kind of stay away from. Now I'll tell you who would be amazing at selling electronics if I would ship them is my husband. He is super knowledgeable about that stuff, but um, I don't want to ship it. He had tons of turntables and I'm like, I don't want to ship them. I don't know how to ship them. I'm afraid they won't get there safe. So he ended up selling those on the marketplace and somebody got a really good deal. Coffee mugs, you know, you really got to look those up because they're expensive to ship with the shipping rates the way they are now. Most of them, by the time you box them and put your bubble wrap and packaging paper, they're over a pound. So you're paying that priority mail rate. So unless it's a mug that I know is going to sell quickly, or for a good, great profit, I usually skip the mugs. There is one mug brand that I do pick up. It is Heartstone. 
I don't know why, but I find them all the time. And you know how there's just some items that you always pick up? I almost always pick them up if they're a dollar or less. Uh, especially if they're Christmas and Halloween. Those are the ones that typically do better. And they're clearly marked on the bottom. If you've been at my channel for a while, you see them in my What Sold videos. And if you guys are new to the channel, definitely check out my What Sold videos. I have a series of bread and butter, which are my $35 or less items. And then I have my big money bolo videos, uh, What Sold videos. That is kind of what I'm known for is what solds. I don't do a whole lot of thrift with me videos, but I'm starting, I, I'm gonna do more. Let's just say that. I'm going to start doing more footage like this. So let me know in the comments if you like this type of video and um, if you want me to do more and maybe any feedback that you have for me, things that you like that people do or I don't know, stuff like that. So again, plates, I have sold them. I usually sell them individually. So that right there would be one plate quantity of eight or however many were there. That's just easier for me than shipping them in a lot. I will tell you that Toledo Antique has a video where they show you how they ship fine china. They will ship like 200 pieces at a time. It's just unbelievable. So make sure you check out their channel for shipping tips. And they are also Bolo Finders. They do estate sales and they are super, super knowledgeable. And uh, they also do live events, live selling events. So check them out. All right. I'm looking at the toys. I promise you I buy some stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like I've just been shopping and putting hardly anything in my cart. I did pick up some movies for my husband and I. So that's always a win. Um. All right, let's see. When I'm not working, from time to time, we will watch a movie. <laughs> All right. Does anybody feel like, um, as an eBay seller, like you work in the morning, you work at night, you work in the evening, you just work all day? That Thomas the Train was a bunch of party supplies. I thought about picking this up, but decided it was pretty heavy and bulky, and I just decided to leave it behind. But I probably could have sold it if it was under five pounds it may have been a good Poshmark item. So if you go over five pounds on Poshmark, you have to pay additional shipping fees um, for the overage. So on Poshmark, I try to keep everything under five pounds unless it's a big money bolo and I'm willing to take that hit on shipping because the shipping cost that's the overage is paid by the seller. All right, we are going to go over to the plush bin here soon. And you know me, I'm probably going to grab some plush. And they did have the music playing in the background. I wonder what that little RV, was that an RV? That was kind of cute. I probably should have looked at the bottom of that to look for a brand. Toys are... Um, when you're at the Goodwill, toys are tough because sometimes they're overpriced. I really like to get my toys at the Goodwill. Not the Goodwill. Oh my goodness. At the yard sales and garage sales. I like to go and I like to buy in bulk. I like to bundle. All right, here we are. Let's find some plush to take home. Let's find some plush to take home and sell. All righty. This little cat. His little heinies in the air. I don't know if that's a doorstop or what that is. I always look at tags. I'm looking for vintage tags. I'm looking for name brands, things that I know that'll sell. That's a Dr. Seuss. Um, I left that one behind. There was a Dr. Seuss uh, plush that I sold uh, a while back. I believe I sold it on Mercari back when um, they were banning the books and certain books were not allowed. I'm pretty sure it sold around that time because everybody was searching for Dr. Seuss stuff. So this little baby doll, some of these dolls that have bodies like this can be a bolo. Um, I did, I, I actually messaged the Rebel reseller and I'm like, do you know anything about this doll? And she messaged me back and she told me to check the back of the neck, which I know to check the back of the neck of like porcelain dolls. 
but for some reason I didn't check the back of the neck of that doll. So I was able to look it up. I decided to leave it behind. The condition wasn't that great. But if you guys are not following the Rebel Reseller, definitely check out her channel. She is a bolo finder. This little guy got it home, did not work, unfortunately. It had this little bracelet on its ankle. So what I did is I took that off and I made an eBay listing for the bracelet. I figured that's something that gets lost or that people just throw away and they might want it for their elephant. Um, I think it's meant for uh, someone to wear, not the elephant, but they had it on the elephant. So that was good for me. Hopefully I'll make my money back with that bracelet. Unfortunately, that was a womp womp. Uh, this little turtle, I probably could have sold this. Now, if the plush is not marked, it is 99 cents. So a lot of the items in this bin that you're seeing are 99 cents. But a lot of them also have a sticker and they are higher. Like the elephant, I paid more than 99 cents for. Um, unfortunately, that happens sometimes. I was hoping to get the elephant and be able to test that on my reseller testing bolo products and then attach a video to my ebay listing to show how it works and i was just really excited about it because i had never seen it and unfortunately it just wasn't gonna happen and the batteries the battery compartment looked fine i don't know why it didn't work i probably should have had my husband look at it because he is like amazing at fixing things he just can fix almost anything all right, let's see. Okay, I did pick up this little Boyd's. It was only 99 cents. So Boyd's Bear Plush, um, if I can get them for a dollar or less, I will pick them up. Sometimes I will look them up, and if they comp out higher, I will pay more for them. They are more of a long tail item, but they do eventually sell. This little guy, I've got priced high. My 25% off sale has not kicked in, in on that yet, but will soon. And what was it called? The how, uh, something nod. But anyway, little clown. If you guys were at my reseller testing Bolo products, I was a listing a lot of these items during a live show, a live working hangout. So some of these you guys have seen. This little bear did work. So I've got a video in my video, a video in my eBay description showing how that works. Super cute. It like snores. Uh, zombie bargain hunter was there watching that day and he was helping me with some of the pricing and stuff like that during the live show so the live shows are super fun and educational so definitely come check out that channel if you have not already and i'll link it down in the description below plus i've also mentioned multiple channels during this um, haul so please go check out those other youtube channels they are fantastic all of them just great knowledge zombie bargain hunter and the Rebel Reseller sell tons and tons of plush. They are my go-to for plush. Uh, just super, super knowledgeable. So check them out for sure. All right. We're getting towards the end of the tote here. Tote. Bin. We'll call it a crate bin. I'm not sure. This right here, I did look this up. It was super cute. It actually holds curtains. So in a kid's room, it's hands um, hook and loop together. The reason I say hook and loop is because you're not allowed to use the word Velcro on eBay. That is a Vero. They will pull your listing if you use the word Velcro. So do not use it. Use hook and loop. I did recently do a series on Vero items not to look for. I typically talk about Bolo items, items to look for. But what I did is in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, I posted a post and I asked everybody to share items they have had removed from eBay or items that have gotten them suspended. And I made a video because the Vero list is crazy long. You can definitely go read through it. But to me, personal experiences, things that have happened to actual people, actual resellers is the way to really learn not, what not to list. So I will pop up little screen shares so you guys can look at those thumbnails and you can go find those on this channel. Definitely, definitely do that. Um, I've had so many people message me and be like, oh my goodness, I had one of those listed. I took it down. Um, somebody else said, I wish I would have watched this video when you posted it because I just had one of those items removed by eBay. So 
throw it on while you're working and just play it. <laughs> play it over and over and get those items in your head so you do not buy them. This little flower was a singing flower. I probably would have picked it up, but the condition was not that great. I love those animated items, super, super fun. So um, did pass on that one due to condition. This also is an animated item. I, I put that one back also. I have one that has been listed for a while, but I think maybe mine doesn't work. I can't remember the details of that but it's been sitting for a while. I probably should have checked. That's some sort of speaker, I think. I don't know, it connects into something. This dragon, little puppet, super, super cute. A lot of times I will pick up puppets, but again, I've got so much inventory. I have a money mountain that needs to be listed. And I've been really, really chipping away at it. I've been doing really good, trying not to source as much, but I wanted to get some thrift with me content and I wanted to go to the bins. And if I'm at the bins, I might as well come over here because they're next door, right? There's the other monkey and the comp comparables on those were not great. So I just went ahead and left those behind. This little ballerina, is that a puppy dog? You guys, is it a dog? What is it? I think it's a dog, but really cute. Could not find another one like that specifically, but I did find a couple um, in that brand. So that's what I based my price on. I don't know what that was. Thank you guys all so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, I would appreciate it if you subscribed. Um, let me know in the comments how you found the channel. If you're new, if you're old, if you've been here forever, let me know how you found the channel. Did you see one of my videos on Facebook? Did somebody, did you hear about it on someone else's channel? I love hearing how you guys found the uh, the channel. So let me know down there in the comments. All right. I'm trying to remember. I don't think I got anything else. These right here, I left behind. Maybe that was a mistake. I remember having these as a kid. My sister and I each had one. Um, I think I might still have it. But um, just one of those things that I've hung on to that I probably just need to sell. I remember looking them up in the past and I don't think most of them are a bolo, but like with anything else, there are certain ones that are rare and hard to find that will bring more money. So I probably should have looked it up. Little puppet, that was like, was that supposed to be Santa maybe? I mean, there's a lot of money that I left behind. It, it's easy to do, you know, it's easy to do. So this mug over here, I'm going to pick it up here in a minute. I bought this for my husband. He likes those big like pottery type style mugs. And this is actually the second one that I've picked up from this same store on two different occasions. It's so strange, but I did end up getting both of those for him. So in the comments, let me know if you saw anything that you would have picked up that I passed by that helps me learn. And it helps everyone learn. And I think I already said that now that I'm thinking about it. Um, I just did a voiceover on a Goodwill Benz video. So that might be up. Not sure which one I'm going to post first. So definitely go check out my channel for those Benz videos. Those are some of my favorite to make. Uh, I love digging through the Benz. I don't always find like the best treasures, but I do find some good stuff. It's definitely, uh, definitely worth it. This is the carts that they bring out that are just kind of sitting by the cash register. A lot of times I will find some decent stuff here, but um, sometimes not. That had like stuff on the bottom, so I'm not sure which brand that was. Hopefully it wasn't a bolo because uh, I wasn't going to pick all that stuff off. A lot of times they put shoes down on the bottom. This store, I should probably look at the shoes. I, You guys, I just skip the shoes not a big shoe person. Looking here at the baskets. I know Rachel Strickland does baskets on her channel, uh, specifically those Thanksgiving baskets. She was selling those like crazy last Thanksgiving. All right, you guys, I don't normally look at the clothes, but I saw this beauty right here. This is beautiful. Just hanging out. Oh, it's Hawaiian. It's made in Hawaii. I love it. It's got this really cute um, bottom to it. It did have a stain on it. It wasn't a stain. It was just something like, I don't know what. 
somebody went by with a stroller and their kid like spit on it. I don't know what it was, but I uh, did wash this. It turned out great and I'm super excited about this one. I just love the colors. It's red, white, and blue. It's, it's a beauty. So really ex excited to find that vintage item. Thank you so much for being here and thanks for watching.